Hi there, Miss Kay here. Today we're ready to do some trumpeting together. Um, let's start off with some long notes. So, okay, let's play an F. Play me a D. A G. A C. Go down to A. That's really great. Now, let's do a whole scale of C major. So from low C to upper C and back down again. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Lovely. Don't forget to breathe after the top note so you get that lovely smooth shape to the the scale and all the notes are really really even let's do the arpeggio ready we're on page four if you need it in the trinity book one two off we go <laughs> fantastic c major scale c major arpeggio now let's do a minor go on to the next page page five in the trinity book second scale down a harmonic minor scale it starts on low a and it goes to upper A, but it also includes G sharp, G sharp, second and third fingers. And this harmonic minor scale gives us this lovely kind of funny shape between the E, F, G sharp, A like this. And that's the, the bottom note where it starts and ends. So now let's try the whole of A minor, harmonic minor, A to A with a G sharp. One, two, three, four. Fantastic, so that's um, A minor scale. Let's do the arpeggio, which is a bit further down, starting on A, C, E, A. Three, four. You need to know that C major scale and arpeggio and the A harmonic scale and arpeggio off by heart really. They're really useful scales and arpeggios and patterns to know. Let's now do the lip flexibility exercise on page four. Uh, remember it goes through the finger sequence. So we start off doing it no fingers, then with your second finger down, then with your first first and second so we'll do it exactly as written there on the page ready starting on G slur down to the C slur up and down only tongue the first note use your breath to help support those upper notes ready one two three four <laughs> There you go. So there's a nice warm up using the Trinity book, this book, and now we're going to move on and use this book here, Easy Jazzy Tudes. Um, this is Ready, Aim, Fire. If you don't have this book, you can check out the link to the PDF of that tune. Okay, ready, aim, fire. What, what can we see about this tune? It has a C at the beginning, and that C stands for common time. And common time is, well, if you count up the beats in a bar, four, four beats in a bar. It's so common that they often just put that letter C and it's uh, common time, four, four, four beats in a bar. Um, four beats in a bar, what else can I see? It tells me it's in a rock style. So you've got to imagine you're playing in a rock band Da 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 dum dum cha dum 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 cha, and that would be the kind of beat at the end of the first bar. Because we've got a lot of quavers in this tune, hasn't it? End of the first bar, we've got a quaver rest and a quaver. 
followed by another pair and another pair. So listen to how those work. Those are going to be on the off beat with the quaver rest on the beat and cha, cha, cha on the off beat. I've got some slurs written in as well. Um, looking at the second line, look, it's the same. The first two bars are exactly the same as the top line. The last two bars have the same rhythm pattern but a different pitch. Third line is different. What note does it start on? It starts on upper C and then it has a pattern that repeats in each bar, going lower and lower and lower. But each bar is four quavers, crotchet and a crotchet rest. And then when we get to the last bar, it's, look, it's the same, almost the same as the first line. The end is different. So the first pattern is one, two, three, four. Da 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 So let's do that again. This time I'm going to click the beat. I'm going to go a bit slower actually. One, two, and we're going to say, uh, just do the rhythm, just like I did, or you can clap out the rhythm. One, two, and three, and four, and da 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 da. One, two, three, four beats rest in the final bar on the first and second lines. So the first line goes like this. One and two and three and four. get to leave four whole beats rest okay second line same rhythm slightly different towards the end but the same rhythm pattern one two and three and four ah. <laughs> four beats rest at the end. Practice those bits, pause the video, come back, try it with me when you're ready. The next line has, as we said, uh, four bars of exactly the same rhythm pattern. Da, 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 rest. Da, 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 rest. Or ti, 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 ta. Or coffee, coffee, tea, rest. So it starts on upper C. I'm going to play it. One, and two, and three, four. So you sort out which notes are which. It's the same rhythm all the way through that line. When we get to the last line, it's almost the same as the beginning. The first rhythm is exactly the same. Then you've got some more quavers and an offbeat on the upper C. Two beats rest in the last bar before the last note. So the last bar goes one, two, C, rest. And that C is on beat three. Right, so the last line goes one and Two and three and four. One, two. All right, I'm going to finish by playing the whole song. So if you practice it in sections, hopefully you'll be able to play along with me at some point. Here I go. One and two and three and four. And there you have it. Ready, aim, fire. Keep practicing. See you next time. Bye-bye.